Chapter 14, Interference of Light Before we start with interference of light, we will recall the concept superposition of waves. Superposition of waves is the meeting and combining of waves. Waves can either add energy or take away energy from each other. If we have a wave intersect with another wave, which have their crests at the same point and the trough at the same point. I mean, on the crest and on crest, or trough on trough. These waves are called in-phase waves. Thus, they will add their amplitude, and we call this superposition constructive superposition. Since the two waves are in phase, that the crest on the same crest, trough on trough, the amplitude will add together. If the wave intersect with another wave, but now the crest is at a trough, and the trough is at a crest, then these two waves are out of phase or anti-phase. ليش لأن الكرست جاية على ترف والترف جاية على كرست يعني عندهم phase difference pi and thus waves are out of phase then we will subtract the amplitude of these waves and we will get a minimum amplitude or zero amplitude if the amplitude of each wave are equal. We will subtract the amplitude. We call this one destructive superposition. Interference of wave is the combination of two waves to form a composite wave based on the principle of superposition. And as I can add two waves, sometimes these waves will intersect or interfere as in phase, then we will add the amplitude and we will get constructive superposition while if they interfere out of phase or anti-phase the amplitude will be cancelled and this we call it destructive superposition i will try to give three examples of interference of waves interference of light interference of water wave and interference of sound if we have a laser and we eliminate a slit as discussed in the previous chapter diffraction will take place and the light will emit from the slit as a secondary source of light this light will eliminate another two slits and again each slit will act as a secondary source and it will undergo diffraction. The second slit also will undergo diffraction. So we can see here that there is a region where the two waves interfere with each other. If light eliminate the two slits, the first slit will eliminate this region on my screen, the blue region here. And at the same time, the second slit will eliminate also this region. So we can recognize here a region of interference. So here we get interference region. We will observe on the screen interference pattern. We will discuss it later and compare it with the diffraction pattern. The second picture is interference of water waves. We can observe two sources of vibration and we have waves of course we can see the wave front of each wave represent the crest of the water wave and here the interference region i draw a circular wave front the blue circles are the wave front represents the crest of the wave and the dot circle represents the trough 
of the wave. As we said before, whenever wave intersect crest with the crest, I will have constructive superposition. Trough with the trough also constructive superposition. While if they meet crest and the trough, we will get destructive superposition and we will get minimum amplitude of the water vibration. So here, if these two waves interfere, we will see that at the middle, here trough, trough, crest, crest, trough, trough, crest, crest, trough, trough, and all these are constructive superposition and the amplitude is maximum. These all are constructive superposition and we are getting maximum amplitude. While beside it here, here we are getting crest and trough, crest and trough, they cancel each other, crest and trough cancel each other. And here we will get minimum vibration of water particles. All these intersection interfere with each other as destructive superposition. Sound wave can produce the interference phenomenon. Superposition of two sounds wave may create silence. I will try to let you hear the maximum sound and the silence or minimum sound that will appear. If I have two speakers, hear the ear of this boy, it will be the detector of the sound. His ear is located on a constructive superposition, in a maximum amplitude of sound. If I move it a little bit down, here I get silence. This is destructive superposition of the two sound waves. If I move it down, again the sound will appear till it reach maximum, here maximum amplitude, and also I will get another destructive superposition, here minimum sound. So at any point, the two sound waves have crest crest or trough trough, it will be constructive superposition, and at any time the two waves intersect crest and the trough, we will get destructive superposition and I have minimum amplitude or zero amplitude which represent here as sound wave silence. Since our, our chapter will focus on the interference of light only, so we we'll limit our study to light wave. Considering the wave theory of light, if two beams of light meet in the same place, they should make interference. As a result, if the two waves are in phase with each other, they make constructive interference, while if they are in anti-phase or out of phase, they make destructive interference. So some points will be bright, and we call it bright fringe, and some other will be dark, we call it dark fringe. Here we have two sources, S1 and S2. If we put this sensor on this spot, we will see that the two waves are in phase and we are getting constructive superposition. I have maximum amplitude. If I put it at this point, I will get destructive superposition and the two waves are out of phase or anti-phase the blue is the resultant which is zero or minimum amplitude which is destructive superposition at any point we put here in phase they are in phase and we are getting constructive superposition if we are speaking about light here we will get a bright fringe, while 
if we put it here, we will get here destructive superposition, then we are on a dark fringe. If I illuminate a with a laser beam the two slits, we will get this interference pattern. How this happened? First, the light coming from the laser. Here I draw the wave front. These are the crests, wave front of the wave. And here are the trough. Actually, the wave, we can represent it like this. This is my wave. Okay, this is the crest, this is the trough, this is crest, trough. And we can see that we represent the red line are the crest, while the blue lines are the trough. When we reach the two slits, we will have diffraction on each slit. This is the first diffraction on the first slit. Also, it's a secondary source now, and it will continue. The red are the crest, wave front, and the blue are the trough. The second one also will make diffraction, and I will get this amazing interference region. If we can see here, we will get here crest, crest, trough, trough, crest, crest, trough, trough, crest, crest, trough, trough, and so on. This is constructive superposition, and I will get here a bright fringe. While, if we can see here, intersection of blue and red, blue and red, red is a crest, the blue is a trough, here a minimum amplitude or zero amplitude and we will get destructive superposition here crest trough, crest trough, crest trough, crest trough all these are destructive superposition and we will get a dark fringe how we will get interference of light? of course the first condition they should be same nature in sound with sound light with light water wave with water wave the first condition to have stable interference phenomenon if the light emitted by two sources s1 and s2 are synchronous and coherent if a red light intersect with a blue light interference will never take place since red and blue are not synchronous since synchronous we mean by synchronous that they have same frequency so here synchronous two monochromatic light waves have same frequency here i have a white light i have polychromatic light here red green and blue so if the red and the green intersect no interference phenomenon will take place they should be synchronous and they have same frequency here I have green light excellent here we have same frequency and these sources are synchronous sources but I have another condition they should be coherent here the interference is not stable and it's not clear. To have a clear and stable interference, they should be coherent. And what we mean by coherent, that the two light waves have a constant phase difference or they are in phase. Thus, to have interference, we should have two conditions, synchronous and coherent sources synchronous having same frequency and coherent they are in phase or, or they have constant phase difference between the two waves.